Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparityPair.com. If you want to check if your brake lights work but you don't have anyone to help you, then this video might offer a couple of solutions. So stay tuned. DisparityPair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisparityPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. When checking the brake lights, best put the car in neutral for stick shift cars and park if it's an automatic. Also pull the handbrake. This isn't that necessary, but it's a lot safer. Know that some cars need to have the ignition on for the brake lights to work. So if they don't work, try turning the ignition key to the on stage and then check. One more thing I would recommend to do is to start the engine and let it run for a minute or two before you check the brake lights. This way the pedal will be softer and you'll need less pressure which is useful for some of the methods we're going to show you. Otherwise, when you press the pedal a couple of times when the engine is off, it becomes much stiffer and harder and much more pressure is needed. Perhaps the easiest way to check your brake lights by yourself is to reverse your car near a convenient window at your home or if you live in a building, find a big glass storefront or shop window. This way you'll get a good reflection of the lights and overview of which brake light doesn't work. Sometimes you don't even have to get out of the car, you can see which one doesn't work in the rear view mirror. Just like with the window, you can use a bigger house mirror, it's the same principle but the big difference is that you'll of course get a clearer picture. The bigger the mirror the better, as if it's smaller you'll probably have to move the mirror from side to side of the car. In order to hold the mirror in place you can use a chair, a ladder or any other convenient thing you have around the household that will give a good support. You can even hang it if you have a hook available. If possible, best position it so you can see both lights at the same time. Checking the brake lights when it's dark outside is not that reliable, but it's certainly worth a try. Wait until the evening when it gets dark and then do the check. It would be best to reverse the car to a wall or a pillar like in this case to get a better view. When you press the brake pedal, you'll see a glow on the wall or pillar and if any of the lights aren't working, you'll recognize it by a missing glow. What's also good is that in most cases you can see the missing light from the passenger cabin without getting out of the car. Find a big heavy building brick and lay it on the pedal. The heavier the brick the better as it will provide more force for pushing the pedal. If you don't have a brick, you can use a bigger rock, piece of concrete, a bigger piece of wood or whatever similar you have around the house. Just make sure it presses the brake hard enough so you don't make a mistake when checking. Using a pole is better than the brick option because you are more certain that the brake pedal is pressed enough. You can use whatever pole like object you have around the household. You can use a broomstick, piece of plastic pipe, wooden pole or else. I would avoid using metal poles so you don't accidentally damage or tear the interior. Put one side of the pole against the pedal and the other against the seat or some other convenient place. Make sure the pressure is strong enough. Once the pole is in place, get out of the car and see if the brake lights work. As you've seen, it's very simple to check the brake lights by yourself. Yes, it may take some more time than having someone help you, but you'll surely get the job done. The option with the window and check at night time are my favorites as they are the most simple and need the least work and time. For the end, give your brake lights a random check from time to time, once a month would be ideal. It's common for people to drive without brake lights for days, sometimes even months, without noticing and no need to say how dangerous this is, both for yourself and other participants in traffic. So that's it for this time. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.